Hello, and welcome back to Animated Talk. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Winnie the Pooh. This is a uh, film that came out in 2011 from Walt Disney Studios. This was a attempt at Disney to reestablish the characters Winnie the Pooh with traditional uh, uh, hand-drawn animation and doing a faithful uh, reproduction of what made the series uh, successful during its run during uh, the late 1960s and early 70s in uh theaters. Uh, the Magical Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is a very uh, popular film for a lot of families. The VHS and the DVD, of course, has done well over the years and continues to be a favorite for a lot of people. And of course, the originals did well in the theaters. Now, this particular uh, film did not do particularly well in theaters. And I'm going to try to talk today about why I think it didn't do well, but also talk about why it's kind of a disappointment in that this is a pretty decent little film. Um, this is actually actually a film that if you are not a fan of the fact that Disney keeps rehashing old properties or bringing old properties back to life, this shows a way to be able to bring a property back to life and, uh, and make it uh, feel like it's part of its old-fashioned uh, the films that have come before. Uh, in other words, they did a really fine job of emulating what made these films popular to begin with. A lot of Disney films now are trying to uh, do their own modern spin on it or twist, uh, oftentimes making a nice story kind of darker and and uh, having more of a cynical twist. You see that with a lot of like Dumbo and the Aladdin and Lion King live action movie that's been coming out. This really feels like the original Winnie the Pooh short. They did a very nice job of kind of finding the characters and making them feel like the characters did in the past. They didn't try to modernize them. They didn't try to add in the typical fart jokes or something. Uh, there was no attempt uh, to put them in some sort of big epic situation that would get your attention. Uh, by the way, all of these things are things that uh, happened in the more recent Christopher Robin live action film where they put them in the big adventure in the city and stuff. And it was just awful. This was a nice, sweet little Winnie the Pooh short. I mean, uh, I should say uh, feature film. And I enjoyed that. The reason why I think it didn't do well is actually there's a few reasons. One, the name Winnie the Pooh is not very descriptive. And while I like that it's a very, uh, a very simple title and they're getting back to basics, I think the fact that it's not very clear how this differentiates itself from the other uh, Winnie the Pooh films of the past is part of the problem. It feels like just another DVD. It, does, it doesn't seem like it really stands out in any way uh, differently. Also, these particular films, uh, I'm sorry, this particular film, the runtime on it is, is pretty darn short. It's just barely over an hour. And while I like the fact that they didn't stretch this out and try to make this a big, longer thing, and, and it's just kind of a short, sweet film, it's also short to the point where you're just starting to get into the characters again and go, hey, I kind of remember these guys and I liked these characters. Uh, but then it's over. Uh, it, I think this is a, a nice, short, compact film the way that it is, but it feels more like a uh, straight-to-DVD film than it does a feature film just because it's so short. And uh, while it doesn't really hurt the film as it is, it does mean that, again, uh, you, you're not as engaged because uh, they, they end it up and wrap it up before you really have a chance to really engage again. Uh, the other problem I think that you had with this particular short, and um, and it's it's kind of a, a bummer I think, is that unfortunately when we are watching this particular film, you already know the the whole backstory of the Baxen is kind of a is is ridiculous and that the characters are not in danger. Uh, the the story itself is very natural to the Winnie the Pooh stories. And again, this is what makes it a bummer in that it does seem like it comes out of the original stories and it does seem to be very true to Winnie the Pooh. But the fact that we know from the very beginning that the characters have no real danger in things means that we're just not all that uh, engaged. Uh, and if there was just a little bit more uh, mystery or a little bit more uh, suspense in it, we might have been able to, one, stretch out the runtime just a little bit, but also it would have made it just a little bit more intriguing to the audience. So I have very mixed feelings. I like the fact that they don't try to stretch it out too long. I like the fact that it's very true to the originals. And I also like the fact that they're trying to get back to basics. But because they went back to basics 
uh, in such a profound way meant that it kind of doesn't stand out and you forget about it. The fact that the story is, is short means that you don't engage a ton and so you forget about it. And the fact that the uh, the story about the, the Baxin in here is one that's uh, very much in tune with the original books, it doesn't stand out very much though because we're not all that engaged. We know that it's kind of a, uh, um, that the characters are never really in any kind of danger and so we don't engage. So I have very mixed feelings about it. I, I wish that they could have worked around some of those things a little bit more, maybe added a little bit more intrigue, maybe a little bit more time for us to re-engage with these characters again. Uh, however, all that being said, if you look at it for just what it is, it's a very sweet little film, and it actually shows that you can take a property that has pretty much been dead and resurrect it in a way where it's respectful to the original, and it does feel like it could sit on the shelf with the originals without taking away from them or trying to put on these kind of dark modern, modern twists. So I don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this one. Uh, leave some comments uh, down below in the, in the comment section and we can debate it a little bit. By the way, I can show you the, uh, the back here if you're curious to see what it looks like on the back. And here's a DVD, but it's just kind of the, the grayscale DVD that Winnie the Pooh, I'm sorry, that Disney has been going with for a few years now, so it's not very interesting to look at. Anyway, hopefully this helps to get you started with some animated discussion, and you'll continue to come back for more discussion of old cartoons with me. See you guys later. Bye-bye.